The 2022 midterm elections are 185 days away and candidates in Minnesota are readying their campaigns. Since the recent redistricting caused district lines to shift, DFL members are hoping to take advantage of the new populations in District 2. Three recent members of the DFL have earned endorsements from their party. Reed Olson and Erica Bailey Johnson are vying for the representative positions while Alan Roy is aiming to fill the Senate seat. With three major tribes of Red Lake, White Earth and Leech Lake in the district, the DFL hopes this will help their chances. We really believe we've got an excellent shot at flipping all three of those seats. You know, it's the first time after redistricting, it's the first time that all three of the tribal nations up here, Leech Lake, Red Lake, and the White Earth uh, Band are combined in one single legislative district. And, you know, I, I, I do think that will make a difference, having their voices, uh, having a good turnout there, uh, could uh, help uh, Democrats sweep all of these seats up here. Mm -hmm. One aspect that the DFL says they focus, hope to focus on is to reach out and listen to people about what type of community they strive to live in, regardless if it is in the metro or the north. Governor Walls, when he came in, he campaigned under one Minnesota, and that's how he's governed. Uh, we know that uh, Minnesota is more than just the Twin Cities. Uh, it includes great communities like Bemidji and so many other communities throughout uh, the Northland here that uh, need attention, uh, need resources. Uh, uh, and Governor Walls and Democrats in the legislature have been delivering on that, making sure that uh, um, as we govern, we're governing through the lens of all of Minnesota, not just the Twin Cities. Primary elections for Minnesota will take place on August 9th. While Minnesota does allow for same-day voter registration in person, it is still recommended to register ahead of time. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.